The Crown Prince of Tonga attends a high-level meeting in Tokyo. King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of the Belgians visit the province of East Flanders. King Frederick X and Queen Mary of Denmark host a gala dinner in Copenhagen. And the Prince of Wales visits Sheffield with the Royal Foundation's Homewards program. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, visited Sheffield this morning to unveil major commitments secured through the Royal Foundation's Homewards program. Homewards is a transformative five-year program that plans to demonstrate that by working collaboratively across all areas of society, it will be possible to end homelessness in the United Kingdom. According to Kensington Palace, quote, as with other parts of the United Kingdom, homelessness, and specifically family homelessness, has been an increasing issue in recent years for Sheffield. The city was announced as one of the six flagship Homewards locations in June 2023. The day began with the Prince, along with parents and young adults from families who have experienced housing insecurity and homelessness, alongside community representatives from grassroots organizations participating in a workshop to co-design Homewards Sheffield's innovative housing project. The Prince also met with local landlords, with Homebase UK pledging £1 million to furnish and decorate new housing projects, local landlords will provide a number of homes for families at risk of or experiencing homelessness in the area. The day ended with the Prince participating in a Homewards Sheffield local coalition meeting at the Millennium Gallery. End quote. This morning in London, His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom held a meeting at Buckingham Palace with veterans of the Korean War. The meeting was held on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of the signing of the armistice, which ended the war. In the afternoon, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, and Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Edinburgh, hosted a reception on behalf of His Majesty the King at Buckingham Palace for veterans of the Korean War. In Madrid, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain held military audiences this morning at Palacio Real de Madrid. First, the king held an audience with a group of 24 officers of the armed forces and the civil guard who are commemorating the 40th anniversary of their completion of their studies at different military academies. Thereafter, the king held an audience with a group of 12 brigadier generals who have been assigned to assume command of different military units. In Copenhagen, His Majesty King Frederick X of Denmark attended the launch of the Danish Center for AI Innovation at the SMK Statens Museum for Kunst. According to a press release from PR Newswire, the Novo Nordisk Foundation and Denmark's Export and Investment Fund, EIFO, have entered into a collaboration with NVIDIA to establish a national center for AI innovation that will house one of the world's most powerful AI supercomputers. Quote, the goal is to accelerate research and innovation in the fields from healthcare and life sciences to the green transition, supporting the development of innovative solutions to the world's biggest problems. Researchers from Denmark's public and private sectors will be able to gain access to a state-of-the-art NVIDIA AI supercomputer optimized for large-scale projects using AI, as well as world-leading NVIDIA software platforms, training, and expertise. The global data center provider, Digital Realty, will host the supercomputer in one of its AI-ready facilities in Denmark. The data center is designed and built to be sustainable and runs on 100% renewable energy. The supercomputer will have the highest level of security and support Danish data sovereignty. Once fully operational, it will therefore be able to support projects involving sensitive data. No data will be stored permanently in the center, and 
the center's users will be in full control of their data at all times. End quote. On Monday evening in Copenhagen, Their Majesties King Frederick X and Queen Mary of Denmark hosted a gala dinner for members of the Council of State at Frederick VIII's palace at Emelienborg. Guests attending the gala dinner included the Prime Minister of Denmark, Ms. Meta Frederiksen, government ministers, the cabinet secretary, and members of Their Majesty's court. In Stockholm, His Majesty, King Carl Gustav of Sweden, held farewell audiences at the Royal Palace with the ambassadors from the Republic of Ecuador, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and the Republic of Tunisia. On Monday, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria Sweden, as the United Nations Development Programme Goodwill Ambassador, accompanied by the Minister for International Development Cooperation of Sweden, Mr. Johan Forschel, and representatives from the United Nations Development Programme, began their four-day field visit to Bangladesh. According to the Royal Court of Sweden, the day began in the capital of Dhaka at an event on inclusive digital development. Quote, Over the past 15 years, UNDP, together with the government of Bangladesh, has established over 8,500 local digital centers that assist local communities with various public services, such as ID cards, birth certificates, and digital literacy training. End quote. In the late afternoon, the Crown Princess participated in a meeting with the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Shaika Hasina. In the evening, Prime Minister Hasina hosted a dinner in honor of the Crown Princess and the UNDP representatives. This morning, the Crown Princess, Minister Forchel, and UNDP representatives carried out a field visit to Kolna, where the Crown Princess, quote, took part in several different projects carried out by the UNDP. Bangladesh is affected by climate change, and a consequence is increased salt levels in the drinking water. During the visit to Kolna, the Crown Princess got to see a facility where they worked to secure clean drinking water for the population through a purification system for collecting rainwater. At the end of the visit to Kolna, the Crown Princess inaugurated a smart service point of post office and received information about how Bangladesh and the UNDP work with digitization and inclusive digital development. The new post office is a first in the effort to digitize 500 post offices across the country. The aim is to provide digital postal services efficiently and inclusively, also to rural areas. End quote. This morning, Their Majesties King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of the Belgians carried out a one-day visit to the city of Audenarda in the province of East Flanders. The day began with a visit to the company Arava. According to the Royal Court of Belgium, Arava is a, quote, custom company that specializes on the one hand in textile production and, on the other hand, in pasta production and catering. Arava employs nearly 400 people and promotes short circuits as much as possible. End quote. Textiles and pasta? Okay. Anyway... In the afternoon, Their Majesties visited the Market Square in the city center of Audenarda, where they spent time meeting with the public and, well, generally having a fabulous time. The visit to the city ended with a tour of the Museum of Audenarda and the Flemish Ardennes. According to the Royal Court of Belgium, quote, Between the 15th and 18th centuries, Audenarda was one of the main centers for the production of Flemish tapestries. End quote. In Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg held an audience with the Prime Minister of Ukraine, Denis Shmihal, at the Palais Grand Ducal. The discussions covered a variety of topics, including bilateral relations, as well as the ongoing war in Ukraine.
in Rodange, His Royal Highness, Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, accompanied by the new Minister of the Economy, Mr. Lex Dellis, visited the headquarters and factory of Avery Dennison. The California company specializes in industrial products, such as labels, stickers, and even office equipment, like staplers. Prior to the tour of the factory, the hereditary Grand Duke and the minister participated in a meeting with company executives who informed the duo about the company's activities in the Grand Duchy, the circular economy and recycling and technology, and staplers. In Tempu, His Royal Highness Prince Yuyun Wangchuk of Bhutan is celebrating his fourth birthday. The prince is a second son of their majesties, King Jimne Kesar Wangchuk and Queen Jetson of Bhutan. Happy birthday. And finally, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Toputoa Ulu Kalala of Tonga attended the opening of the second edition of the Japan Pacific Islands Defense Dialogue in Tokyo. On the sidelines of the event, the Crown Prince held a meeting with the Minister of the Defense of Japan, Mr. Kahara Minoru. According to the Japanese newspaper Kyoto News, the two-day ministerial-level defense meeting with Pacific Island nations aims to, quote, counter China's expanding military clout and maritime assertiveness in the region. Defense Minister Minoru and his counterparts will affirm the importance of a free, open, and sustainable maritime order based on the rule of law. Japan and the Pacific Island states launched the Multinational Defense Dialogue Framework in September 2021, when they held an online gathering due to the coronavirus pandemic. The meeting comes ahead of the 10th Pacific Island Leaders Meeting, scheduled for July in Tokyo, involving Japan alongside 18 countries and territories, including Australia and New Zealand. Japan has hosted the summit every three years since 1997. As part of efforts to strengthen relations with developing and emerging nations, often collectively referred to as the Global South, Japan has helped bolster the defense and Coast Guard capabilities of Pacific Island states. End quote. Yay, Tonga. I'm so happy I'm able to talk about Tonga, the kingdom of Tonga. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, March 20th, with all the latest royal news. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Okay, again, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.